dear students in this video i would like to explain the very important 10th standard mathematics theorem that is three mark question theorem so without this theorem there is no question paper at all not only in on your exam but also in our preparatory exams midterm exams in all our 10th mathematics exam definitely we can expect this theorem students that's why it plays very important role in karnataka state sslc mass passing packet in this video how try like to explain in simple manner the theorem that is three mark question theorem students please please subscribe my channel and just you like my channel always you will get the uh, maximum mathematics videos dear students now let's explain the statement so definitely we can expect in any exams or any test or any preparatory or any midterm the question in the form of see students prove that prove that the lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle or equal understand children the lengths of the tangents drawn from external point to the circle or equal so has been all that the meaning of tangents tangent is a straight line which touch the circle at one and only one point one second i am telling that tangent is a straight line which touch the circle at one and only one point suppose if i take the circle see students suppose if it is a circle understand so i would like to take this is external point whatever the lines if i draw from external point to the circle this line we call as tangent if i draw another tangent see students this is another tangent that means that tangent is a straight line which touch the circle at one and only one point in this theorem how we have to prove these two lines length equal these two le lengths equal so that we are going to prove in this theorem students so has we all that in every theorem we have a five steps the first step is figure second step is to prove that third step is construction fourth step is proof statement reason understand children first step is figure again data next to prove that next construction next proof statement reason similarly we have a first step that is figure it's very very important if you have the correct figure if you have the correct figure you will get one mark students it's very simple this theorem is based on circle this theorem is based on circle that's why you should draw the beautiful circle you should draw beautiful circle just to draw the circle see it is a circle see students it is a circle let us keep the external point p this is the external point if i draw a line from external point to the circle that line we call as tangent if i draw another line from external point to the circle this line we call as another tangent and keep this one as p q r p q r join o q o p and o r so has been all that the center of the circle is always located the symbol o o p q r one second o p q r very simple students i will explain once again first you draw the circle mark the center point and external point 
join a line from external point to the circle and another line from external point to the circle you call this one as p just you draw a line from center of the circle to external point and center of the circle to this point center of the circle to this point this is what we call as p q or o so what we have to prove that p q is equal to p r see students it is always right angle this is always right angle one circle one radii one tangent what the angle is 90 degree perpendicular are you understand students are you understand students first thing is figure are you clear about this one are you clear about this one after figure we have a first next step that is data that is data so has been all that has been all that data what do you mean data data is a method of explaining the figure it is a method of explaining the figure what is in figure what is there in figure it's very simple just to explain yourself who is the center of this circle in which p is the external point pq and pr are the tangents understand students see who is the center of this circle in which pq and pr are the tangents drawn from external point to p once again who is the center of this circle in which in which pq and pr are the tangents drawn from external point to p dear students once again tell it that data who is the center of this circle in which pq and pr are the tangents drawn from external point to p the next to third step is what is that very very important to prove that to prove that what we have to prove the tangents are equal the tangents are equal see first tangent second tangent these tangents are equal understand children understand children that's why pq is equal to pr sir why do not take the pq because pq is the tangent see here pq is a tangent why do not take the pr because pr is a tangent pq pr are the tangents that's why in this theorem we have to show that pq is equal to pr pq is equal to pr the first step is figure over second step is data what is data why is the center of the circle in which pq and pr are the tangents drawn from external point to p third step is to prove that what is to prove that pq is equal to pr pq is equal to pr pq is equal to pr the next step is very important that is construction fourth step is construction construction what is construction it's very simple join join oq op and o in construction we have to join oq op and o understand children the fifth step the fifth step is proof statement reason proof statement reason dear students i will explain once again the first one is figure second one is data what is data who is the center of the circle in which pq and the pr are the tangents drawn from external point p the next step is to prove that what is to prove that pq is equal to pr next step is construction what is construction join oq op or oq op or 
the fifth step is proof this proof we call as body of the theorem body body of the theorem in letter writing you should know very well the body understand children in our theorem also the body the main part that's what we call as proof proof statement reason proof statement reason under statement we have to consider the two triangles the two triangles the two triangles which are cf p o q upper triangle upper triangle p o q bottom triangle p o r p o r that's why we have taken here in triangle p o q and triangle p o r in these two triangles just by seeing the figures we can say that sir angle q will be equals to angle r understand children understand children angle q will be equals to angle r see the first step is angle q will be equals to angle r angle q will be equals to angle r which is equals to 90 in reason column we should write the reason without a reason you will not get the words children are you understand without a reason you won't get the words what is reason it's very simple radius is always perpendicular radius is perpendicular to tangent radius is perpendicular to tangent at the point of contact Yeah, what is the point of contact? What is the point of contact? See, students, this is the radius. Radius is perpendicular to tangent at the point of contact. What do you mean point of contact? Point of contact is a point where tangent, circle, and radius meeting. Point. Yaw point dali circle lo tangent lo radius so meet ado the. Aw ando point ano point of contact ando kariyut tebe. Understand children? The first step is angle Q is equal to angle R. In reason column. radius is always perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact the second step is oq oq is equal to or understand children oq length is equal to or length why it's very simple in a circle in a circle radii always equal see students OQ is equal to R. OQ is equal to R. Radii of the same circle. Radii of the same circle. Once again, OQ is equal to R. OQ is equal to R. Radii of the same circle. The first point is angle Q is equal to angle R, which is equal to 90 degree. Second point is. OQ is equal to OR. OQ is equal to OR. Radii of the same circle. The third point. Third point is OP. 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 OP is common to both the triangles. See, OP is common to upper triangle and bottom triangle. That's why. OP is equal to OP. OP is equal to OP. Common side. So, therefore, these two triangles are congruent. What do you mean congruent? If in two triangles, if in two triangles, if in two triangles, the corresponding angles are equal and their corresponding sides are equal, then those two triangles are congruent.
congruent is entirely different or similar in congruent triangles we can see the equal angles and equal sides in similar we can see the equal angles but sides are proportional in these two triangles we can expect we can say we are seeing equal angles this angle is equal to this angle this angle is equal to this angle and this angle is equal to this angle and also the sides are so equal that's why triangle poq congruent with the triangle por the reason are just right hypotenuse side right hypotenuse side la and corresponding corresponding property of congruent triangles corresponding property of congruent triangles see therefore pq will equal to pr if in two triangles if in two triangles if in two triangles the corresponding angles are equal then their corresponding sides are sides are equal then we can say that those two triangles are congruent if two triangles are congruent the sides are equal your sides equal now. pq is equal to pr pq is equal to pr see pq is equal to pr pq is equal to pr and proof dear students one second i'm telling that proof in triangle poq and triangle por angle q is equal to angle or which is equal to 90 degree in reason column radius drawn to the tangent which is always perpendicular to the point of contact the second one is oq is equal to or radius of the same circle the third point is op is equal to op because op is common side in these three reasons we can say that triangle poq congruent with triangle por when these two triangles are congruent then we can say that the line the tangent line pq is equal to pr dear students please watch continuously my videos you will get the clarity you will get the clarity please work out you should keep always in your mind not only for on your exam but also for your higher studies so this theorem definitely we can expect in our on your exam please students practice yourself work yourself you will get the clarity so ultimately practice practice is only the sutra practice is only the formula for getting perfection dear students thank you thank you for watching this theorem